Well, I guess if this video hits 5,000 likes, I'll do another one. <laughs> Idiots, they can hit 5,000. Oh, fuck. Welcome back to another video on Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, today we are playing this game, and I don't even remember their voices or anything, so we're just gonna go into this. Who should I show my- Oh yeah, we need to show our poem. Uh, I like Yuri, right? Yeah, yeah, Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Oh yeah, that was Obama. <laughs> uh, exceptional. Eh? What was that? Did I say that out loud? Yes, President Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Oh, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. I, uh, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Yuri takes a breath. That's good. You need that. So, do you want to fuck or not? Your use of imaginary metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? I just copied that shit off of some fanfiction I found. Oh, I mean, uh, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I... I know that. Well, you, you think I'm fucking stupid? She traces a finger along the words in the poem as if breaking down more thoroughly. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kinda learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize is that you are fucking amazing. Mithy Moo wins. <laughs> Dude, if I ever meet Obama, I'm gonna make him say Mithy Moo wins and have that as everything in my life. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that I don't give a shit. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them out and building them as well, I mean, it might take time and shit. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. She likes that gay shit. Biased? How? I shouldn't be talking about people like that. But while we're at it, uh, Monica's a fucking asshole. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. Okay, let's see. Ghost under the light. Tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past the light flickers i flicker back i i'm sorry i have such terrible handwriting yeah i couldn't see jack shit what yuri what the fuck? i wasn't thinking that at all i just can't read but it took you so long to read it okay that's just rude ah yeah you, your handwriting i actually think your handwriting is pretty Ugly. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. N not at all. I'll be honest. <laughs> Listen, I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Because you're a fucking idiot. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Yeah, they make me so fucking hard. <laughs> fuck is going on? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Myth. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. It's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Hey, it's it's nothing, really. <laughs> I just imagine Obama just blushing. What a cutie. Yours was impressive too. Never seen such bad poems in my life. Nah. <laughs> if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. I was really nervous doing all of this. But in the end... It doesn't even- I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Myth. Me too. For me, said myself. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, I guess Monica, sure. Wait, what voice did she have? Fuck. Do I have to watch my own video to see it? Oh yeah, she was an old man. Hi, Myth. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I'm making these male voices is because I don't do nearly enough voice exercises to make like a high-pitched voice. So shut up, okay? If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Want to share your shit poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Don't worry, Myth. We knew you'd suck ass. Mm-hmm. Great job, Myth. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it, because I thought, oh, the fuck is this shit? I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Well, it wasn't even part of the game, that was just real. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayuri, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it hard when writers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. I mean, so don't force yourself to write the way anyone else wants to write. It's a uh, prison or anything. Ha ha ha. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the duration the speckle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poetry 
poems a bit. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. If you're a stupid fuck, don't write. Just force yourself to get something down in the paper and tidy it up later. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. Thanks, Eminem. Okay, next up is... Sire? Yeah, sure, let's go Sire. Hello, Sire. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, she had the fucking robot voice. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> this is a good poem myth. But if I don't give her that voice, what other voice? This is a good poem myth. <laughs> is that good? That's good. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Well, to be honest, I just didn't want to say it was fucking awful. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only good people would do. Thanks, Sire. Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Am I reading Sire or Shakespeare? Yeah, that was good, Sire. Can I skip it now? Did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just just a little bit. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. I mean, seeing how shit yours was, mine is just fucking godlike. It came out nice. Oh, how should I put it? It sounded just like you. That's adorable. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. What are we talking about again? This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah. Yeah, why do I sound like that? But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. And last up is Natsuki. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me? It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. D do you want to get smacked? I'll piss. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. <laughs> Unzips pants. Not that you like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Is this what emo poetry is? I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. <laughs> Nanny? Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Everyone at the high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the whole point of poems for people to express themselves? That was some good alliteration right there, Myth. Thank you. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. I guess that's everyone. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Across the room, Sari and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. As I read into Antrim, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> What's with this language? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thank you. Yours is cute. Cute? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. The language is, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sairi liked it. Yeah, but she's kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and Myth did too. They don't bring me into this. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions on my own. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Myth liked my poem too, you know. Even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh fuck. Oh yeah? I didn't realize she was so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? <laughs> that, that's not what I... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe he just chills that Myth appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh shit, I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Myth starts showing... Okay. N Natsuki, you know I'm sensitive about my boobs. <laughs> I love Obama, man. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you. you. I don't like fighting, guys. She, she, she's trying to make me look bad. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. That's the reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Myth? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Place. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Too easy, Yuri, of course. Natsuki. 
Um, you're right that I like your poem. See? That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. I understand. Yuri, you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I am... I'm sorry. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then it wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that- Shut the fuck up! Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized, don't you think you should do too? Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being defiant only because she couldn't handle the pressure. I end up being feeling bad for her. Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me time from having to look at all your faces right now. If she's sassy as shit. On her way out, she crumbles up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. She really didn't need to do that. Monica, you awake? You alright? I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handle it as well as anyone could. Thanks, Myth. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you part of this club now. One more thing. Um, that one thing Natsuki said. About, you know. I would never do anything so shameful. What did Natsuki say? I'm just taking the piss now. Well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I did learn a little bit more of the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. It truly has been a while since Sari and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, that's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't hate them. Them, do you? No, no, I don't hate them. I just fucking despise them. I just wanted to know your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Yes, Mio. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. Stop being cute, sorry. What the fuck? I'm trying to love Yuri here. But I mean, with that voice of yours, how can I not like you? And I think everyone really likes you too. <laughs> Never mind. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sairi. Man, I'm thirsty as shit. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sairi as an internal monologue sometimes. Let's do this. Wait, wh what is that? Oh, it's just me ending the episode. Where well, bam. Okay, so if you want a third episode of this, uh, let's hit 3,000 likes. And if you guys like it enough, I'll actually, like, finish this series, I guess. Yeah, I know, that's a first. And yeah, thank you guys so much for amazing support. And as always, my name is Smith, and thanks for watching. Yeah, they make me so fucking hard.